Ancient astronomy assumed a concept of the universe proposed by 4th century BC Greek philosopher Aristotle, who imagined the Earth at the center of the universe with the sun, moon, stars, and planets all revolving elegantly around it in perfect crystalline spheres. Aristotle's universe was finite. It was a big sphere. Actually, it was like onion. It was an onion with many concentric spheres. First century astronomer Ptolemy improved on Aristotle by accurately tracing the paths of the planets, which didn't move haphazardly after all. Using complex circular motions called epicycles, Ptolemy could predict their prescribed paths and changing velocities. In other words, Ptolemy's system reliably predicted the future behavior of the planets, another step in man's journey to understand and control the universe. The Ptolemaic system was extremely complex. It had all these planets going in loops, and it worked beautifully, but it was just wrong. The idea uh, that you can predict something doesn't mean you understand the fundamental principles behind it. Ptolemy's system did not accurately reveal the universe, but it didn't try. He essentially showed that the positions of the planets could be calculated for any time past or future. It was a tour de force of mathematical understanding. Interestingly, the astronomy seemed to stand still for centuries after that. In fact, after the collapse of Rome in 476 AD, astronomy actually lost ground. Europe fragmented into smaller powers and a lot of the wisdom of the Greeks was lost. A thousand years later, a new theory would confront accepted beliefs about how the heavens worked and would move mankind one step closer to a theory of the Big Bang. Hi, I am Muhammad Umar and you are watching Shine with Science. Today I will talk about the Ptolemy cosmological model. Aristotle thought that the Earth was stationary and that the Sun, the Moon, the planets, and the stars moved in circular orbits about the Earth. He believed this because he felt, for mystical reasons, that the Earth was the center of the universe, and that circular motion was the most perfect. This idea was elaborated by Ptolemy in the second century AD into a complete cosmological model. The Earth stood at the center, surrounded by eight spheres that carried the Moon, the Sun, stars and the five planets known at the time Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn. The planets themselves moved on smaller circles attached to their respective spheres in order to account for their rather complicated observed paths in the sky. The outermost sphere carried the so-called fixed stars, which always stay in the same positions relative to each other but which rotate together across the sky. What lay beyond the last sphere was never made very clear, but it certainly was not part of mankind's observable universe. Ptolemy's model provided a reasonably accurate system for predicting the positions of heavenly bodies in the sky. But in order to predict these positions correctly, Ptolemy had to make an assumption that the moon followed a path that sometimes brought it twice as close to the earth as at other times. And that meant that the moon ought sometimes to appear twice as big as at other times. Ptolemy recognized this flaw, but nevertheless his model was generally, although not universally, accepted.